Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at the Zenfone 2. And yes, this is the 4 gig model, actually known as the ZE 551 ML. And this is a review unit that was sent by ASOS. So let's quickly have a look and here it gives us a brief info that this is a 4G uh, enabled model and it has a full HD that's a 1080p panel and it has Bluetooth support. And guys, I'm not shooting this in my studio. I'm at Ash Place, so just uh, bear me with me uh, because it's not my regular setup. And this is the Zenfone 2 itself. We'll come to this device a bit later. And here it specifies that it has that 64 bit processor. It's the new Intel Atom processor that we have. It's a quad core. And uh, we have some pamphlets over here. Uh, it says the user guide, basic info, I would say. Gives you an idea about the device. And uh, the SAR rating is also pretty low on this device. Uh, I'll publish the star, uh, SAR rating here on the screen. And we have the warranty card. And it says not to use cut sims. And we have the power brick and this is supposed to be uh, acting like a fast charger i would say and it's a 18 watt uh, model that we have and uh, by the way this fast charger comes only with the 4 gig model i believe and we have the usb to micro usb cable uh, there are no headphones but again i'm not very sure if we have that in the retail box this is what we get so let's look at the device itself so here we have the zenfone uh, 2 that is the ZE 55 1ml model uh, ASUS is also selling actually uh, the 2 gig variant and uh, this 4 gig variant comes in two variations. One is the 32 gig and the other is 64 gig. Uh, this is the 32 gig variant that we have and this is how it looks. Let me give you a physical overview first. On the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Uh, the power on off button is at the top, not my favorite location. And here we have the secondary noise cancellation microphone. Nothing over here and we have an indent to open the back cover I'll show you that. Uh, bottom we have the micro USB slot that will be used for charging the main microphone and on this end again nothing. Uh, moving towards the back we have a dual tone LED flash, 13 megapixel rear facing camera and this is the volume rocker, ASUS branding and it says uh, powered by Intel and the Zenfone branding and this is for the speaker and the back can be opened. Let me actually show you uh, and it reveals the SIM slot. Uh, the battery is actually sealed inside which is a 3000 milliamp hour battery. And uh, it's a dual SIM device, but do note that 4G and uh, 3G support is only for the first SIM. The second SIM is just a 2G. And we can also add micro SD card up to 64 gigs. And again, the battery is sealed inside. And uh, uh, though the phone uh, actually, uh, it says uh, on the specs, it's around 175 grams. But the in, in, in hand field, I would say it does not feel that heavy so the weight distribution is pretty good regarding the front facing camera it's a 5 megapixel shooter and it has a 5.5 inch screen which is a 1080p panel and again we have uh, touch type capacitive buttons that's the back home and this is for the multitasking actually in terms of looks i would say it looks uh, like most other zen phones uh, apart from the back the back they have really changed it and it gives that metallic finish but this is not uh, metal it's still plastic but again it feels it actually looks pretty cool i would say and uh, it's been set up so let's just unlock this and as you can see this is the interface that we get let me adjust the brightness and it comes with the new zen ui and uh, as you can see let me maximize the brightness and let me remove the auto it was on auto and let's look at the setting. Uh, this is the 32 gig model as I mentioned earlier. So let's quickly uh, look at the actual settings now. And if you go to about, uh, as you can see, it's running on the Android version 5.0. That is Lollipop. So we are getting Lollipop out of the box. And if you go back, uh, let's also look at the storage, what we get. Let's quickly just go to the storage tab. Here it is. And out of that 32 gigs, uh, we have 25.53 gigabytes for us and we can also add a micro SD card up to 64 gigs is supported. So let's just go back and this is the display again. As you can see, it also has an LED notification light here. So we do have that and let's just go back now. And it feels actually pretty nice to hold thanks to this curvature at the back. Uh, though it's a 5.5 inch screen, I would say 
due to this curved back, it feels actually nice in the hand. And in India, this uh, 32 gig model is being sold for around 20,000. Uh, there is also a 64 gig model that sells for, if I'm not wrong, around 22,000. And these are sold in India via Flipkart as of now. And now talking about what's powering this, it's powered by Intel Atom processor, uh, which is a quad core processor clocked at uh, 2.3 gigahertz. And the highlighting factor of this device is the RAM. It has four gigs of RAM. So that's the highlighting factor, I would say. That's the highest that we have seen on any Android phone till date. So uh, it'll be great for multitasking. I hope you can run a lot of apps. Then also you shouldn't have any issues. But again, I will be testing that. Let's quickly also look at the camera on this device. Let me bring this and let's fire up the camera. It's a 13 megapixel camera, they say. And it has a pretty clean UI, I would say. Let's, we have the tap to focus. Uh, the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter. So let's look at the snaps. Uh, looks pretty good, but again, these are studio lights. So I will be testing them uh, in outdoor conditions and I'll try to post a dedicated camera review video if you guys would like that. So that's it for now for this very quick unboxing and first look at the Z Phone 2 4 gig model. If you have any specific questions around this device, do post them in the YouTube comments and I'll try to include them in my review. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.